Okay. I believe they're not gonna be there. Yep, we can talk to them. What's for dinner tonight, Cyrus? Oh. Oh. You mean supper? Yes, yes, supper. Yeah, supper. Well, looks like Ma's making rabbit stew, see? Oh. Whoa, whoa. Don't shove it in my face, Cyrus. I don't want to see that. I'm a good hunter. I can kill him with my bare hands. Oh, I can imagine that. Oh. Yes. That's um, good. Where's the exit of this conversation? Oh, good. It's ended. No, no, Cyrus. No. No. So, this is really your home, huh? Yep. Got it fixed up. Just like I like it. It looks real homey, all right. Yeah, can we... can I leave now? No, no, don't the sound effects. No, no, let's go, go. Adrian, just leave. I can't stand that way. There's something you need in the hayloft. In... in the what now? What the hell's a hayloft? There's something you need in the hayloft. Hayloft? What the flip's a hayloft? Mr. Skull, wh what is a hayloft? Did, please explain this to me. Is it like a basement? Is it whatever's on the top of a barn? Is it an attic? Explain these things to me. Why would I need it? Don't let me guess. Uh, away from these people, Adrian. Thank you. What you mean? Is this the hayloft? Is this what we call them, these things? I've never heard of that word before in my life, Mr. Skull. You know, I should really save. This sounds like a really reasonable idea right now. Okay, um... Okay. This? No, oh, that's the six of them in the hole. Wait, is that a hole? Adrian, what are you doing? No, what, what's this? What's this little white thing here? How do we all know it's meant to be there? How we would anyone even know about this? What, what even is that? Alright, oh, it seems to be stuck in there. Hammer, do your job. Wait, is that key? Oh, it dropped, didn't it? Didn't it? Didn't it? Um, Adrian, I forgot your name for a second there. I don't know how. Uh, no, no, we got it. A bent, rusty nail. What the hell am I going to use a nail for? The house beckons you. It beckons me? Does it really now? Well, Mr. Skull, let's investigate that, shall we? You know, I do like this hint system, but at the same time, he's flipping... Not a good hint system at the same time. Do I just walk in? Is that what you want me to do? Because I will just walk in. Okay, I'm in the house. Piano's up to no good, but first, fortune telling. Oh, that's evil's menacing. Like, hello, yes, this card. Yeah, I don't know what what card is that. I can't I can't see it through this horrible video quality pixels. Evil is watching you. Look for friends. Oh, oh, well, oh, that's weird showing, isn't it? I'm being watched by evil. 
Adrian just doesn't care though. So who are my friends? Everyone in the little town? The uh, Cyrus and um, Harriet? Or are they the evil ones? <gasps> I can't tell if the piano is actually playing or if that's just, you know, part of the soundtrack. No, don't play Adrian. I only want... Well, really good job. Now I've got this music playing. That's a good song, though. More secrets lie beyond the locked third floor door. Get the key. How do you expect me to do that, Mr. Skull? Right, let's see. Right now that when I'm back, I can actually use that to... You know... Go up, place. That didn't sound spooky at all. Wait, the nail does this? Wait, how are we meant to unlock it? Adrian, are you like being a lockpick with a nail? Oh yeah, I gathered it was locked. Adrian, don't look so flipping disappointed going ugh. Alright. Does this key work with it? Is that a yes or no? That does not answer my question. Okay, that did. Wait, do we use this to get the key? Yes, okay. Damn, why didn't I think of this before? I don't know, Adrian. The local newspaper. More secrets lie beyond the locked third floor door. Get the key. Can I actually still do that now? Because I did try and do this before, but he wouldn't let me. I've still got it. I don't think that's going to work, Adrian. Nope. Alright. As frustrated as she is, let's see if we can actually use one of the other things. Okay, we can't use you. I doubt the hammer's going to fit in there. No. More secrets lie beyond the locked third floor door. Get the key. Oh, wait. I'd love to, but I don't know how. Hmm. Wait, give me a minute, people. I'm actually going to try and reload that. Okay, everyone, I'm here. Let's see if this works this time. Okay, now we can do that. There must be another way you can get the key without using there the we newspaper. Go. Does this actually work? Like, in real life? Does this literally actually work? By putting the nail in to get the key out, it go on the, the paper and then we can pull it under. Who knows, because I certainly don't. Yay, it worked. You sound so happy about that, Adrian. Oh, Adrian, don't just stand there looking pretty. Move the paper.
Yay, we got the key! The stairwell key. Is that what it's called, really, Mr. Sco? Right, first things first, save. There must be another way in case you actually did that first. Then screw up. Yes. And uh, now we get to explore this uncharted territory. Who knows what lies in this door? I don't, but we're going to find out. It's the staircase. Maybe that's why it's called a stairway, okay. Oh, okay, it leads to a room with a door. That seems to be about it for this place. Okay, yeah. Okay. Can we do that? Does that open? No? Yes? Maybe. Oh, it opened. Oh, this room does not look evil at all. Very plainly looking. Hello, hello, is that... I'm guessing it's a book. Okay, that's the definitely Vampire a book. by John Polidori. To Malcolm from Zoltan. Zoltan? Oh, that's the old guy from town. Oh, wonderful. Now we got it with An me. An old book belonging to Malcolm. Yay! Is that all I came here for? Oh, we got a window. Oh, that's a nice view. Just tell me that's where we're going next, right? Um, that's my guess. What was this? Is this a little, little south prison? Someone in town knows all. Seek him out. Are we talking about Malcolm? Oh yeah, close the door behind you. Adrian, just do that. Oh. Right, let's go drive for miles and miles to get here. Someone in town knows all. Seek him out. Alright, are we talking about this place with the doggy? That doggy, of course. Yes, doggy. Yes, yes. Good doggy. Good doggy. Would you like the newspaper? No? Hammer? No, no, I wouldn't do that. I doubt any of this is going to work on a dog. No. No, of course not. Can I read this? No, not really. My dog! Jesus Christ! Maybe I can buy something for the dog. Or maybe not, because I have no money. Thank you. Weren't you there? Didn't you open the door last time I came in here? Good morning. Good morning. Can we talk to you? Um, I can't even see him now. Uh, okay. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just looking. Okay. Could we not actually see his face during this? 
Is that... Was there something wrong with him? Oh, oh. Uh... No, there's nothing. Okay, let's go. We're done in here, it seems. Wait. Help the helpless. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was the um, charity thing. Do, 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 do. Well, it said man, and I only know of one of a man in this place. Well, that looks quite nice. And I'm not talking about this guy, by the way. I doubt he would know anything. Okay, it's open. What's going on in here? Is there any more weirdness going on? Huh. And what can I do for you, little lady? I don't know. What are you even waiting? I'm Bob. I want to ask you something. Shoot. Everyone in town seems to believe the Carnivage estate is haunted. Why didn't you tell us? Oh, now don't tell me a smart gal like yourself would believe all those old wives' tales. I can't run a business based on small town prattle. <laughs> hey, besides, you got a good deal. And if you don't know it, your husband certainly does. Yeah, I guess you're right, Bob. You gotta stick to the straight truth, no matter what the circumstances, no matter who whoa, you are. Whoa, 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 That's what I always What's say. What's with this chat? Disgusting. What's with this chat? <laughs> oh, oh, before I forget. Your husband asked me to check up on the telephone service out to the island. A phone man will be coming to your house tomorrow. <laughs> now, if you don't mind... I'd like to get back to work. Oh, sure, sure. I'll let you get back to whatever that work is. Which I bet is not much. Someone in town knows all. Seek him out. Alright. Oh, his name is like Cheese Bob. Okay. Yes? Never mind. Alright, let's leave the guy to his um, things. Let's go, just go. Oh, the woman with the dog's no longer there. Let's go in here. Maybe we can get something for the oh, dog. Oh, Adrian, I'm glad you're here. I have some important newspaper articles you might want to see. Oh, really? Let me see. Alright. What have we got? When you started questioning me about Carno's old estate, I thought of something. My mother started this scrapbook of important news articles when she was very young. She added to it almost up until the day she died. That was four years ago. I remembered seeing some old articles about Carno in here, so I dug it up. This is wonderful. Can I keep it for a while? Oh, no, I, I couldn't let it go. It's my mother's. You have to look at it here. I'm sorry. Oh, no problem. I'm just glad you found it. Unfortunately, I may not have time right now. When can I read them? Any time. I will leave it right here on the counter. Come in whenever you want. Thanks, Lou. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. What do you mean? Wait, Adrian, 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 Adrian. What do you mean you don't have time? Uh, what do you mean you don't have time, Adrian? We've, we've got plenty of time. Go read that. You got nothing to do. Lying girl. That's a nice picture, by the way. I do like that picture. Can't tell where it actually is from that angle. But I like it. Oh, my god, Sunday text. Um, kind of to give benefit performance. At local orphanage. This coming Friday. 
Afternoon, February 5th, 1887, Carnot will kindly give a special performance at Our Lady of Compassion Orphanage. All proceedings will be donated to the orphanage to help with their care and feeding of the children. Come and enjoy the sh show. See Carnot, Carnot levitate in midair. Watch as he saws a woman in two. Experience the literature chair. All this and more. All additional donations will be greatly appreciated. I don't think this is something we should do for an orphanage. Carno toddler discovered drowned in pond. Oh. On Sunday afternoon, June 10th, 1889, Carno's daughter, Sophia, too, was found dead in the estate's garden fish pond by her mother, Hortensia. It appears the little girl had wandered off by herself and had accidentally fallen into the fish pond where, apparently, she drowned. It is reported her mother is quite distraught and is currently undergoing medically supervised sed sedation. sedation. Sophia will be interred in the Carnafash family tomb after a discreet funeral tomorrow morning. Oh, that's so sad. I feel sorry for the girl. Illusionists? Fourth wife chokes to death at dinner. She... what now? Yesterday, November 17th, 1896. Carnot's fourth wife, Regina, caught a piece of steak in her throat and choked to death while having dinner with him. Tragically, Regina is the second of Carnot's four wives to die. Three years ago, his third wife, Leonora, suc succumbed when she accidentally tripped and fell down a flight of stairs, breaking her neck. Carnot also lost a daughter seven years ago when she drowned in a fish pond at the t tender age of two. Carnot divorced his first two wives after each had pr proved unfaithful. They have not been heard from since. A.K.A. they probably died. Maybe. Or maybe not. Who knows? But the fact he says they have not been heard from since could quite lately mean they just disappeared into thin air. I'm, I'm going to go with death, though. I mean, all his other, his other two wives died, and I don't know what they said about his fifth wife. They said he had five wives, right, didn't they? Yeah, 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 they must have done. But they're all dead now, anyway, because of the year. Uh, Acclaimed magician injured while attempting a skip trick. Last evening, Thursday, October 15th, 1898, Carnot was seriously burned while attempting his world famous escape trick. He had been chained to a straining contraption, bound, gagged, blindfolded, and then set afire. The escape should occur within 20 seconds, but this time something went wrong. As his audience screamed in horror, Carnot was pulled, barely alive from the raging inferno, raced to a Holy Saviour hospital. He now lies in a coma, which burns over 80% of his body. Doctors are not optimistic about his recovery. Oh, that sucks. Famous alumnus, alumnus Scott Berserk, found dead after Night of Rampage. It was reported early this morning, Friday, October 23rd, 1898, that both Carnot and the world famous, the world famous alumnist and his wife Marie were found dead in their home. At this time, it's not clear what actually transpired, but it appears that Carnot, who had recently suffered a severe accident, awoke from a coma sometime later last, sometime last night, and escaped from the hospital after killing his night nurse. Wait, he did what? Damn. Somehow, despite his acute injuries, he then managed to make his way home. Over 10 miles away, it is conjectured that he had interrupted a fight between Marie and her lover Gaston Warwick, and that a violent row had resulted in the aftermath. Both Carnot and Marie lie dead while Gaston had disappeared. A search for him is now underway. Carnot and his wife will be interred in the Carnivash family tomb sometime over the weekend. Oh yeah, I'm sure you'll love that. Is there any more? No. Good, good, because I was getting thirsty. That was a lot of hard work reading. Excuse me, Lou. Oh, hello, Adrian. I just wanted to thank you for answering all of my pesky questions. I won't bother you again with them. Oh, it's no bother. I just hope I've helped you. Oh, you really have. Oh, I've yes, a yes. Lad. Uh, okay, then. Is there anything else? No, okay. Good. That's what it means. When she walks away. Because otherwise they just do awkward conversations. Let me guess, you still want me to talk to Malcolm, don't you? I assume it's Malcolm that he's on about. 
He does not it then. Someone in town knows all. Seek him out. Oh yes, totally. How am I meant to touch him now? Wait for it. Yes. Hello, doggy. Hello. Nice doggy. Good dog. You just... Did you do that again? Nice dog. Well, well, okay, dog. Don't break the game. Jesus. Uh... Oh, wait, dog. Jesus Christ. Wait, I need something for the dog. What do I have, though? Nothing, really. Uh... Well, I spent over an hour recording, so I'll say this is a good place to end it. So when we come back, we uh, will find out how to deal with the dog so I can actually at least knock on the door. So until then, everyone, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.